Hey guys, just have to show you this trick. Basically, it's the back of a camera lens cover, the, cam the camera lens cover, and the front of the camera cover um, that you can use. They clip together tight, um, and you can use these to just stick your uh, memory cards and so on and so forth. Just stick them in there, seal it up, all sorted, nice and safe. Anyway, that's got absolutely nothing to do with today. Today is a completely different issue. What's happening guys? Dan Debenham here. In this episode we are talking about HDR photos, how to create a HDR photo within Lightroom, as you know, a HDR photo is a high dynamic range photo, so that's lots of colors, lots of variations of color within your photograph. Let's get in Lightroom, let's get to it. Okay, so once we're in Lightroom and we've got all our photos imported, effectively a HDR image, a high dynamic range image, is a series of photographs, can be made up of what of two, three, five, seven, nine, whatever number of photographs you need to be made up of. Um, but basically they are at different exposure rates. So as we can see from, from photo number one up here, this is very, very, very underexposed, right through to uh, number nine here, which I'm using nine images, uh, which is very overexposed. It just goes through different steps. Effectively, I've gone up two stops for each exposure to take the same photograph. Um, so what we do is we get the first photo down here, we get the second, the last photo, so we highlight them all. As you can see, they're all highlighted. And then we go to photo, photo, merge, and then HDR. And effectively, once that's done what it's done, you are pretty much done, in effect. Um, Lightroom will compose those photos, it will sort them all, auto-align them, auto-set them, um, and it will um, lay them over the top of each other, creating a high dynamic range image. The best part of this scenario is that it, not only have you shot all these photos in RAW, which you should have, you should have been shooting them in RAW, but it will output a HDR image in RAW as well, so none of the color data that you've got is lost. Nothing that you, uh, nothing is missing. Um, effectively, it's just basically compiled all those images into one image. As we can see here, we've got set settings along the sides. You've got de-ghost, um, and you can have none, low, medium, or high. And in effect, what that is, is if you've got moving things in your image, like cars, uh, birds, trees, clouds, etc., etc., and whatnot, it, what it will do is it will try and auto align those so that they don't uh, you don't get sort of separate photo looking ghosting around the edges of each one. As we can see, it's brought up a pre preview of what our image will look like from that. I'm happy with it. I don't need to put any ghosting on there. So I'm going to stick and click on merge. And effectively what that does now in this top left hand corner, you'll see it says creating HDR and it will pop another image into our timeline um, effectively which is the compiled image. Okay, once it's done that, what we can do is we can just click on it and go to develop and boom, there you are, that's your composed HDR image. At this point now, you can just edit it as you would normally edit any image. You can just click in there, do whatever you need to do. Um, you can change the settings, etc., etc., etc. Incidentally, pro tip, if you hold shift and double click on black, and white, it will, Lightroom will automatically tell you where it thinks the blacks and whites should be. And then from that point on, you can then continue to edit it. So you can say, yes, I want a bit more of this. No, I don't want a bit more of that, so on and so forth. Just keep it looking how you want to look it. At that point then, you can then add a filter to it. So if you wanted to add a filter such as um, a Voodoo Lounge or one of the photos and filters that I've got in here is fair enough. You could do whatever filters you've got, you could put those on there and that will give you the look that you're looking for. Um, and that's it, your photo is pretty much done. I'm going to choose on this one, I think I'm going to go with uh, Thousand Oaks. Okay, so that's it and uh, I hope you did enjoy that tutorial. Um, if you did like this tutorial, please do like and subscribe below and uh, leave a comment as always, I will get back to you. Um, and I will see you guys next time.